Microplastics analysis is not as complicated as you might think. Imagine stumbling upon pieces of plastic debris on your weekend stroll at a beach. Among the plastics, those less than 5 mm in length are considered microplastics. These are smaller than half the size of your thumbnail. Beach scenery may be the least of the problems as microplastics disrupt marine ecosystem, which in turn have repercussions for a range of other ecosystems. The Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrophotometer FTIR is the instrument of choice for microplastic analysis. The spectrum obtained after the measurement is compared with the library spectrum, and the qualitative measurement is performed. However, microplastics degraded by UV irradiation have changed spectra compared to those in the library. As a result, the spectrum is difficult to interpret and requires analyst training. To eliminate misidentification and lengthy trainings of operators, we present the Shimadzu Only Thermal Damaged Plastics Library. This library contains spectra data for 13 types of plastics in the unheated condition and when heated to various temperatures from 200 C to 400 degrees Celsius. It can be seen that the peak of OH group and CO double bond appears when the plastic is deteriorated by ultraviolet irradiation and heating. Let's see if we can actually see the peaks of the hydroxy and carbonyl groups in a real sample, and if Shimadzu's library can correctly identify weathered microplastics. Let's actually measure it. This time, we will use the Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrophotometer IR Spirit. The measurement was performed by the ATR method, which is a simple method and requires almost no sample pretreatment. The measurement is performed with this white microplastic in close contact with the central prism. The resulting sample spectrum was searched against the Shimadzu Thermal Damaged Plastics Library. The red line is the sample spectrum while the black line is the library spectrum. The library hit indicated the microplastic spectrum matches that of degraded polypropylene. The characteristic hydroxy and carbonyl peaks are also detected indicating the plastic in question has gone through environmental degradation. The simple measurement identified the white microplastic to be that of degraded polypropylene. Shimadzu Thermal Damage Plastic Library is intuitive, training-free, and applicable to real samples out in the world and identifies microplastics that have gone through UV degradation and thermal damage. Please refer to the application news for more details.